This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at aspect based sentiment analysis, a task of modern natural language processing. This is a Python package uh, and I will be giving a demo of this package. But before going into this, let's understand the task of aspect based sentiment analysis. So aspect based sentiment analysis is the task of identifying fine grained opinion polarity towards a specific aspect associated with the given target. Some words are there like target aspect, right? An example will make it more clear. Now let's go to an example. So here there is a text location two is central London. So extremely expensive location one is often considered the coolest area of London. Now there is this location entity over here. There are certain features associated with the location entity. So the target is location. The aspect is certain features associated with these locations, which is some general uh, this thing price of the location, safety, transit location. OK, this is an example from Centihood data set. OK, so if you were to look at location two, it says central London. So transit location for that particular aspect for this target sentiment is positive. So it is a fine grained sentiment, right? Safety, there is nothing over here. So none price, it says extremely expensive. So it is a negative sentiment, right? General none. Similarly, if you were to look at location one over here, so general, it is considered the coolest area of London. So positive right price is none safety none transit location none of the other details are available so in general you have some entities or fee or uh, this thing as targets right entities as targets and certain features of that is your aspect and for that aspect you are trying to identify a sentiment okay if you take a cell phone as a product right aspect could be your battery life it could be camera performance it could be general performance, right? It could be display, right? These are aspects. So if somebody were to write that iPhone is a very expensive phone, price is an aspect, right? But I like this phone very much. Uh, iPhone has a very good display. So from that a particular text, you want to extract the sentiment associated with certain aspects. Okay. So let's go to the package again. So that is what this package is, uh, does. Right. So here they have given an example like see there is a text. We are great fans of Slack, but we wish the subscriptions were more accessible to the small startups. OK, so there are some aspects Slack and price which you need to give as an input. And this is the text and you can get the sentiment associated with Slack and price. So the sentiment associated with Slack is positive over here because of great fans, whereas the sentiment associated with price is negative because you know, we wish the subscriptions were more accessible to small startups. Okay. So in this package, one thing which you need to know is that the text input for the text input, you need to specify the aspects. Okay. And now this depends upon the domain. It depends upon what you consider as aspects for your domain. For example, if it is a customer service uh, solution, right? For example, if the product is something like a vacuum cleaner, then probably you would have certain aspects of the vacuum cleaner or features as your aspects, certain features like the price. It could be the claim, uh, how well the vacuum cleaner cleans, how much noise it makes. So certain things you can put as aspects, right? So now let's look at uh, this particular package. Um, so I will put the link of this package in the description of the video. You can also check out there is a very nice article where they explain how this aspect based uh, analysis or sentiment analysis is done. Right. But before that, let's go into the demo. OK, so I'm not running anything at present. I have already done the experiment. I'm just showing you the steps. So the first thing is to install this particular Python package, which is what I've done aspect based sentiment analysis or ABSA, right? So I've installed the package. It goes and installs multiple things, right? Then what I do is that I import aspect based sentiment analysis as as APSA, right? ABSA. Then I instantiate a pipeline. That is what is happening over here. ABSA dot load. NLP equal to this creates a pipeline. Okay. I'm just trying out their default text over here. So when this instantiation happens, you see over here that it downloads a BERT 
aspect based classifier right it downloads certain things and it sets up a pipeline now this is the text again we are great fans of slack but we wish the subscriptions were more accessible to small startups here the aspects are slack and price and i am doing an assert statement over here i am just running the same thing so it works out as per expectations over here okay for slack the sentiment is positive for price as an aspect it is negative okay now let's try out with our examples that is where the fun is right so here i pulled out a review from amazon for this particular phone s22 ultra okay and if you look at this particular text uh, because it's a phone i am looking at aspects like phone battery camera and because iphone was mentioned over here iphone s22 because that's the model over here and here if you look at the text it is mostly positive because it says it's a huge upgrade i like the phone and all these things over here i'm not reading it battery life is fantastic all these things so i create this text I have already created the pipeline i pass the text right i also pass the aspects okay so and then i print the sentiment for each of them so if you look at the sentiment for the phone it is positive right for s22 it is positive for battery it is positive camera is positive for iphone is also positive because it says over here that i had been an iphone user my entire life okay so this is a completely positive review and as expected for each of these aspects i am getting positive sentiments because if you look at the text over here battery life is fantastic camera is perfect condition right now basically camera is even more amazing sorry camera is even more amazing right iphone user entire my life so that is also positive phone if you look at the overall uh, this thing it says that uh, with 5 years of support for this phone i plan to ne next several years okay so again positive so this is a positive review and as expected i am getting the uh, aspects for the aspects i am getting the positive sentiment and these are the aspects which i have chosen based on the domain right it's it needs to be explicitly specified over here so it is some kind of aspect is supervised right and for that aspect you are getting the sentiment okay now let us look at another example for the same phone i got a negative review as well so here it says i must say this phone is impressive but not as impressive as i had hoped okay something about the camera the price is a little high it is just really a galaxy note with crappy battery life okay it's a great phone you need to try to a charger so it's overall a very negative review okay now if you look at aspects over here i have given it as phone battery camera price because iphone was not mentioned s22 was not mentioned so i am not giving those as aspects over here right again i am passing the text to the pipeline so here now if you look at the sentiment for the phone it says positive because i must say this phone is impressive it says as positive but if you look at the text this is where the challenge comes it says but not as impressive as i had hoped so ideally it's a negative sentiment but it says positive right for battery it says negative because of crappy battery life for sentiment uh, for it says negative for camera as well as well as the price it says negative because those things are negative over here right so it says it is negative but somehow it did not overcome this challenge right where it has i must say the phone is impressive again but not as impressive as i had hoped because this implicit reference is there for a human it is very easy to understand but for a machine learning model it becomes difficult okay that's why the sentiment is seen as positive over here for the phone whereas it should have been negative right now they also have something called as an explainer okay now see the sentiment analysis was done aspects were pulled right for this aspect sentiments were pulled right now how did the model come up with this sentiment right for that they have something called as an uh, you know pattern recognizer and they have an explainer okay for that you have to do this recognizer and then you have to load the pipeline with this recognizer pattern recognizer is equal to this particular recognizer okay so once you do that again i am passing the same text all right the negative review and uh, what i have to do is that i have to do it like this completed task dot examples basically this is the this thing uh, what are the aspects which have been pulled from over here and then i can do a summary okay i can do absa dot summary and i can pass that particular aspect and i can also display that summary which is what is done over here right so if you look at the summary when i display it it tries to explain it says you know the scores for this particular aspect is positive right this is neutral negative positive so positive is very high why is the positive very high 
so they have taken an importance there is a feature called importance this important importance basically comes from basically every word word is given a weight and based on that weight they compute an importance score right and if you look at it is impressive word it has pulled out again impressive right some word called hoped but it also but not is there but impressive is what it has pulled out and probably because of that it gives as positive right so if you go to this article uh, where they have explained uh, what is this importance right how is this importance computed what is the classifier they say the classifier for this aspect based sentiment analysis is a bert classifier bert is a model which is being used what they do is that they pass the sequence as text sub tokens there is a class text sub tokens separator and aspect sub tokens and separator okay this the relationship between the text and an aspect is encoded into the class token so this is what they pass to a bert model and from the bert model they take the class embedding basically and then there is a linear transformation a classifier applies a linear transformation on this cls to do that sentiment classification okay so that is your uh, you know aspect uh, plus text it is used to actually do your uh, sentiment classification on the aspect okay now if you go down below the article uh, what they say is that there are some limitations of this particular kind of this kind of models so they have a concept called as a professor okay which reviews and which sees whether you know the model has done a good prediction or not so how do they do that i'm not going into the details over here maybe in a later post i'll go into the details how do they do that over here is that they build another classifier called an basic reference recognizer it checks if an aspect is clearly mentioned in a text only then it says that okay the model has given some proper prediction or not okay that is what i have understood in my limited time based on this article i will be going into the details and giving you another video where i'll be explaining the details but here they talk about the professor explaining the model basically that model explaining the model reasoning where they look at you know a pattern is a weighted composition of tokens here a pattern is interpretable and has an importance right which is a score 0 to 1 that expresses how a particular pattern contributes to the model prediction for example over here how did this text contribute to the positive sentiment what contributed over here okay so that is what is explained over here so what they say is that a pattern is a weighted composition of tokens it is a vector that assigns a weight for each token so if these are tokens there is a weight to each of these tokens and based on that they compute an importance score and they pull out which are the important words for example for slack it was positive right fans one you see this weight right so that is based that is what they have done over here to explain it so it looks at the uh, basically if uh, it looks at the internal state and based on the weights it it actually tries to explain that is what is explained over here in the professor part of it so yeah the professor reviews and there is some post processing okay the professor reviews the models hidden states and outputs to both identify and correct suspicious predictions well, that is the idea of this explanation okay so this was about this right now let's look at maybe one more example so this is about battery so it is negative so if you if you look at over here it has given more weight to crappy battery life obviously right that is why the importance is one over here but somehow it is pulled this impressive word also but that weight is less so it is negative review over here right now let's take uh, another domain just to show that how these aspects are determined based on the domain i have just taken another domain so this is a review of a car a summary kind of okay it says spacious interview with a wide back seat a good five seater comfortable ride quality so and so some things are there right so i pass this text now the aspects are changed to price features interior ride by ride i mean ride quality okay so based on the domain you need to come up with these aspects now there is another challenge also the same aspect words can appear in different ways right so there should be some way of standardizing those words in the pre processing right whereby if you want to have price then probably as an aspect then everywhere in the text you know if the word price is there you put something if the word is something else then you introduce this price word or do some kind of pre processing right otherwise i don't think it will work as such right so in this case what i've done is the aspects are price features interior right and uh, so again i am trying to explain the summary of the price uh, so the price it says over here as negative because there is this uh, you know words over here like uh, you know the quality should be uh, if you were to look at this it is like the price diesel engine should have been available 
right something like that is there so it is giving a kind of a negative sentiment for the price over here for in this particular text okay interior quality should have been better for the price so some of the inter uh, uh, um, inference over here is that the price sentiment is negative okay now in this text if you want to look for right it says positive because of the this thing that right quality uh, you know comfortable right quality that text is there right so the right quality it says as positive okay now if you were to look at uh, you know features okay there is this text called expansive list of features right and it gives a list of features so it is a positive over here okay then you have interior again it says spacious interior uh, so it is actually kind of given it as positive spacious interior um, with a wide back seat and all those things you know comfortable seats and all those things so interior it says this thing even though if you were to look at the text somewhere it will say that interior quality should have been better for the price so this is again tricky right ideally it should have been a little bit negative or neutral but then it says as positive okay so what i wanted to show over here is that depending upon your domain the aspects are going to change and you need to decide on the aspects and again if i if i were to just look at two phones over here two reviews in one of the reviews there is a very clear mention of the phone phone model right in the other review there is no mention of the phone model for example here there is a mention here there is no mention of that so if you are to capture the phone a particular model how would you do it would you introduce the term over here explicitly for that phone or you will just do a phone and you will pull out phones of a particular model and then do this so it all depends on how you want to apply this aspect based sentiment uh, uh, analysis and these aspects are something which you are actually identifying manually and you are giving that as an input okay there are also other ways by which you can identify these aspects using something like uh, topic modeling to identify what are the topics which have been uh, explained in this review if you have a set of reviews you can pull out the topics and topics will come like battery life camera some things if it was a phone review if it was a car you might get topics like ride quality or say interiors or price things like that okay so you can do it like that as well you can uh, do some kind of topic modeling but still uh, some kind of supervision would be required to identify the aspects or the features okay i hope this video on aspect based sentiment analysis is useful for you you can check out this package uh, what they have mentioned is that please star this um, uh, repository uh, even i have given a star to, uh, to this repository if you like the package please do that because that helps the developers maintain the packages right it's like a motivation to the developers uh, it's a very good package it also has a lot of other models i will be um, looking it into at a later point of time i probably look into detail into these articles into some of these papers which have been mentioned over here on how this works right and maybe i may do videos at a later point of time so if you like this video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning